good morning good morning good morning good morning hello everyone i hope you're well today uh, this is sophie isles art and we're going to be drawing some stuff related to the five doctors this morning i hope you're all well this sunday um particularly those in the uk suffering at the moment and everywhere else in the world to be honest with, fair with you um so yeah so we're gonna do some doodling today um my plan is to um draw sarah jane and susan from the five doctors and then draw a what if of if ian and barbara join the five doctors so that's the plan today if you're gonna be around please um come and hang out and enjoy with us but that is the plan so i do hope you're gonna enjoy this morning i'm looking forward to it too um come pull up a chair get a cup of tea i've got my cup of tea courtesy of the mug from the wonderful chris Achilles. and we will get started i hope you're all okay mm. so let's do this this morning so so it's gonna, i'm just gonna do some like rough practicing first because we i just want to make sure that when i'm drawing these characters i'm drawing them very well enough so this is kind of again ellie's fault not intentionally but um i i took some pictures of jacqueline hill the other day that made her think of the five doctors and i thought it'd be a really fun task to do so i'm just gonna do some doodles first and then we're gonna try and tie it all in together So let's do this. There we go. Right. Let's go. Make sure everything's okay on my end. Yes. Right. So I'm just going to doodle. First, I'm going to start with Susan. So. She's wearing this like really lovely little like neck scarf. I love Susan, especially like how they portrayed older Susan in this. Like I don't like how she was written, but she style wise she looks fantastic. So let's uh She's wearing this beautiful like frilly thing. And then a nice jumper. joys of her uh, trying to draw her hair because it's actually a lot curlier than I usually draw it because she's older Something like that, I think. Good morning. So we've got a little rough for Susan there. So let's sit tidy her up. See what's gonna happen when I try and tidy up this Susan picture, so Thank you. 
Let's see how. trying to make this look good. Hi Laura! Um, I'm not sure that I did but I will double check because it didn't come up in my notifications which is a bit odd. Right, let's see if I can tidy this up a bit. Looks a little bit like Susan. <laughs> a little bit. Or five Doctor Susan at any rate. There we go. Uh, possibly. Um, I'll look into it after the stream. But the best thing to do usually is just if you make a post and you want to show me something, just tag me in it like you would any anyone else. It's not my favourite, Susan. Maybe if I do that. No. Looks a little bit better. a little better for me, so that's good. Morning, Cedric. Okay. Um, so, my Susan from the Five Doctors is complete. This is a kind of warm-up. 
and then I'm going to draw Sarah um, and then I'm going to draw Ian and Barbara so that'll be fun so let's draw Sarah in the same place I don't draw Sarah very often, you see. Not well, I a bit. We'll see if we can. Hello. No, he doesn't want to be on camera today. Right. It's funny because I'm going to be drawing a very different type of Sarah. Usually I draw her very young or very old. And now I'm drawing her during the Five Doctors, which is obviously still young. But again, it's just, it's just different to what I would normally draw for her. So it's going to be quite fun. It's quite a, a lot more hair, perhaps, than there usually is when I draw Sarah. Kind of out and flicky, like so. picture I have is the one um, when she's wearing the pink, the uh, not the see-through coat, but the pink one with the little loose tie and the frill. So fingers crossed I have chosen the right one because I, I like this, if, you know, if you're going to choose any, I think this one's a nice one. Um, I think it'll make more sense which one I'm about to do once I've actually drawn it in, which I'm trying to draw right now. going on and then she's got like a little underneath the thrills so Let's try and tidy this up. Let's have some of my tea, and then Sarah time. The hair is the thing I'm the most concerned about getting right today. So, because everyone I've chosen has very big bouffant hair today. I don't know why I've done this to myself, but you know. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good day. Right. 
Right, let's see if I can get this to work. Mm, no. It kind of works. I think. Right. Cool. So my Sarah has turned out okay. This is good. I'm liking how this is going. This is fun. So now I can move those down there. So you've now got a Susan and a Sarah. So that's good. Yes. And then to fit the theme, I want to draw Barbara and Ian as though they were in the Five Doctors. So they're going to be wearing very similar outfits um, and looking very 70s. This is the plan. This is based upon my tweet last uh, uh, on Jackie's birthday, where um, we found her in an episode of Angels, um, where she played uh, one of the nurses' um, real mothers. Uh, which was Pauline Quirk from Birds of a Feather, which I always watched growing up. So. Let's see if we can now <laughs> do Buffon, Jacqueline Hill, which won't be very hard because it's Jacqueline Hill. Um, so. And she even has a really like barber-like hairdo. Like it's still big and bouffant. Right. And 70s. Like it's, it's hilarious. Right, and then I'm gonna put her in this frilly shirt that she's wearing, and then put her in this wicked blazer, and then she's got. big proper William Hartnell style tie <laughs> if anything I need to make it a little bit wider there we go 
right Don't worry, I'll be colouring all of these in. That's why I'm doing all the inking first. side isn't quite right let's just fix that Right. Hi, so drink. So yeah, the um, the the subject of the screen today is five doctors. So we've I've done Sarah Jane and I've done um, Susan. But what I really wanted to do was introduce Ian and Barbara, if they were in the five doctors as well. Thanks to a conversation I had on Thursday. So um, based on the Angels episode that aired. I wanted to draw Barbara in the same outfit because it's it's just too funny. It's just too great. So this is Barbara in her set, her Five Doctors outfit, I have decided. Um, and I'm about to draw Ian in his Five Doctors outfit, which will probably look very similar to what he normally does, except I might just give him glasses and greyer hair. So we'll see. We will see. But um, I'm looking forward to you guys uh, seeing the end results when we put them all together. Um, so I think I'm pretty much there with Barbara actually pretty happy with that so um, so just show you we've got Barbara we've got Susan so we've got Sarah Jane and then we've got Susan and now I'm going to draw Ian so Thank you. 
Go. He's just Ian in a suit, really, with more seventies like hair. So, uh, I'll give him a really garish tie. give him yes I, I saw that reply as well and I was like funny funny because I was planning on doing five doctors related things today anyway so right if anything stretch him out a bit Let's uh, tidy up this pen drawing. I'm trying to decide if I should. See if I can get it to work. a bit better so all I've done really is I've warped it so he's now looking towards Barbara when <laughs> now do I give him a dodgy moustache That's what I should do. I don't know if I could bear that.
we go. Do that, can I? Maybe that will work better. <laughs> Seventy's hair is basically locked down here. I like that. It's yeah, probably true actually. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on in my my pencil? Should be fine. That does that all the time now. It might give him a bit more hair. Maybe like that. Just trying to think of like the 70s things that I've seen people are more likely to have. A bit more hair. big collar and tie I mean it does look like a big collar in this but I think it's big enough so I'll give him a really gaudy collar Anything I've made that silly right now, put it back. Right. I think it looks alright. I think when I colour it in as well, it will make a massive difference. So, though, just for laughs. I don't think Ian suits the tash or a goatee. No, we're good. <laughs> um, God, right. So now we have. So I'll put Ian over here. There we go, so we have Ian and Barbara for the five doctors. <laughs> and then, um, hang on, let me just move these now. Those two, and then we have Susan and Sarah. So they're my four that I'm drawing today. So I'm going to be cutting these in for the rest of the session. Um, just to let you know, really, that, that is the plan. Um, so I um, hope you've in enjoyed watching so far. Though now I'm really, I'm almost tempted to put them all together in a group. I reckon I could do that. I know, what I'll do is I'll select, duplicate. Let's see what happens if I can try and put them all in a group and then 
that could be quite fun. So, well, first of all, we need to make them all. Let's get rid of these old layers. That's it. Make it smaller. Let's remove. And then I kind of want to put, so I'll make them smaller, so. So I'm going to put Sarah next to Ian, like so. And then team up that should have been <clears throat> cool well I think that could be really fun to actually include so so I've got that version so I'm going to see where they all sit together so I'm gonna just make these two transparent for now I'm gonna have to rub bits of them out so Sorry, Ian. And then Barbara too. So I've got the originals as well, so it's not a problem. So we're gonna So I need to change Susan's expression because she can't look scared when she's standing next to Ian and Barbara. So let's uh, fix those. I'm tempted to do the same with um because actually really her cowlick is now the wrong way around. Should be like that.
There we go. Oh, great. That's what it'll look. Hmm. Um, Laura, I haven't seen anything, I'm afraid. So I'm not sure what you're doing. Um, <laughs> so I'm a bit confused. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Um, right. Are we happy with this so far? I think it looks pretty good. And then we can... Put Barbara in front of me and just fine with me. There you go, what a group, what a group. Um, I am excited. Um, I think the only thing I am going to do just because I'm a little bit worried about how these, well, it's actually, all I need to do is put that one there just in case it doesn't work. And then I'm going to this one lower and all I wanted to do really was to um So silly, what have I done? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to do the same thing to Ian in the way, so like bring his eyebrow down.
Right, there we go. Cool. I am very happy with this. having a little look. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, it does feel like she should know them. I always had this kind of uh, headcanon sometime that um, all the compat- well, a friend of mine come up with it and I kind of have stolen it because it's such a good idea. Um, that all the companions that get left behind originally are found by Ian and Barbara. They have this kind of halfway house, in a sense, where any companion can go to them and vent and cry and be upset and what have you. And Ian and Barbara will always be there to listen, to be supportive. And they love to hear about how the doctor's doing and they reassure the companion that it's okay and look at all the cool stuff you can do. I imagine they picked up people like Ace, or they picked up people like Sarah, um, you know, I, they have connections of unit in one one thing, so I know, like, I just get this feeling that they always kind of have a little niche of their own. In my head, it just feels like the best way to do it. They're too cool not to still exist in the universe some way. We know what you go. It'd be sad that once they left, there was really not much else for them. That'd be a sad way to end it for them. Like, not to say that it's sad, because obviously they have each other and they have their lives back, but when other companions get this chance to make a difference, I don't really hear very much what classic companions get up to without them turning evil or weird or... So yes, um, yes, and Victoria, definitely Victoria, very, very much Victoria, bless her. Right, so let's just get these nice rockets in. Susan's obviously so pleased to see them all again. Barbara's giving Ian a look, Ian's giving Barbara a look, and Susan's just like, wow, veterans, people who knew the doctor before I did. I should be annoyed, but I'm kind of not, I guess. Right. Once again, duplicate. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure That it fits to cool so I'm just going to sort out some of this line work so it fits the page And then I'm going to start colouring it in. Like so.
go. So now you all fit. Which is wonderful, so we can get started. Oh, Cedric, what a sad thought. Um, but I know what you mean, it's not sad, but it is sad. Right, let's colour these babies in. So I'll do what I normally do. Lots of bouffant hair to deal with today. I don't know why I've done this to myself, to be honest. Let's see what happens if I fill this in. Right. So then these. So this is probably my ultimate dream team for the five doctors. Or for a for a um a reunion of companions and doctors and things um obviously i know that we have ian in the five companions and stuff but if you could choose who were stolen um for the five doctors plan who would you choose because i think to be honest this is probably it May maybe ace but this obviously five doctors would count the first five companion and doctors so for me this is probably it because the companions i would choose otherwise are later on no i i wish joe was also in this group joe would be great as well but to be honest that seeing liz shaw getting on with ian and yeah this this so many great combinations that I could think of just off the top of my head but I just really wanted to draw Ian and Barbara as though they were in the five doctors <laughs> that's what was what happened today so I'm glad about that at least
Right. I think the inking for this one is done. I'm just going to go and just double check some of these um, little areas just to make sure that they. all feel like part of the same universe. That sounds like a weird thing to say. But hopefully it will make sense soon enough. Okay. So I'm going to try a bit something a bit different with today because I can. What you can do is you can actually select and then paint. So what I'm going to try. I mean, it might not work. It might not work at all. But it might just speed up a few of my processes. So I'm going to do Ian first because Ian is at the back. Um, I'm going to put him in a green. Like a proper horrible mustardy green suit because it's the seventies. So I'm gonna select roughly what I want to colour. So it's a bit easier to keep tidier. It might make my pro my um, progress slower, but it might also speed a few other things up. So let's find the gash brush. worked better already so again we're gonna put him in a really horrible colour for his suit his 70s everyone wore everything bad that is what I say I do like the Stranger Things gang, to be fair. Maybe I'll uh, try that one.
I think this is going to help my process quite a bit. Right. So again, I'm going to select the tie area. There we go. Well, his suit jacket certainly looks awful, so... Cool, let's select his face now. His skin. just sort the colour out on this one. Here we go, we're getting there. Certainly getting there. Hey Grayson! Maybe one day the strange things are, yeah. Again, even I don't well selecting it I think just makes it easier because I don't have to worry about it going over because because I'm using like a painterly brush even if I do use um, a clipping mask it still goes over so just just make sure for absolute that when I'm painting it only it only paints the white bit that I need I'm going to try this. Because you would probably have grey hair by now. Thank you. 
We have Elian. I actually have a 1970s jacket that colour. I rest my case. I am good at picking 70s colours. Um, <laughs> so you have it. I'm just going to try and fix Ian's hair a little bit. There we go. It's trying to go grey and he doesn't like it. That's that's the impression I'm getting from from this. Let's see what happens if I fix some of this up here. Done our best for now, right. So Ian's done. So I'm gonna do Sarah Jane next because she's a bit easier than um, Susan. Because her colors are quite straightforward. Don't worry about the bow tie. I will get to the bow tie. The biggest surface area colour is the coat. And then I'm going to do the bow tie because that's even easier.
go. And now we just need to do her hair, which is a really lovely shade of brown. anything there's even more red in this one so I'm gonna try again I'm gonna Here we go Sometimes it's just worth making the line art pop, especially the edges. When you've coloured as well and you kind of know where the colour's going to land. It's looking pretty good. I'm 
makes more sense actually than the deeper shade. There we go. It's getting there. Sarah's practically done, so that's really nice. Let's just go double check there's nothing else I need to colour for her. Not really. Technically speaking, I need to do the. Yeah, I think I will do it just in case as well. Her quills here. much much better. The last thing I'm going to do for Sarah before I move on There we go. Looks better now. Right. So now I'm going to do Barbara next I think and she's technically here she's got similar hair to Ian so I might do the hair first I think the hair is going to be the biggest amount of strain on my brain Try and do this one a little bit, a little less weird as Ian's. Let's try and give her like grey strands. See what happens if I lock. Mm. 
I just just in general it's gonna make it darker as well. There we go. Then it's gonna Grow order of dignity, my dear. Okay, right. I'll do what I did with Sarah as well, and I'm gonna colour in this white thrill shirt got under this blazer above it. I mean I know um, what I'll do is I'll do compliment like so this is a trick I love doing with colour. So if I well if I take the colour for Ian and then I'm going to see what colour it matches with it is a purple so I am going to make it match. Um, so if I select the nope if I select the bow tie Now their colours will harmonise and it'll look really cool. Beautiful blow tie. And then I'm going to put her in a grey blouser. And I'll switch away at her skin.
There we go, blazer done. If anything, I'll make it darker. Here we go. And now just her skin to do. There we go, I think that's probably the best skin colour. Let's get that sorted. You are absolutely desperate for me to draw Syl, aren't you, Sir Tangy? Desperate. One day it will happen. That's what I say about everything you suggest. <laughs> But it will. I have drawn silk before, I'm sure I have. When, I don't know. But I, I probably should. Okay, we are almost done with everybody. I still think Ian is probably too tan. So let's fix that. Just feel Barbara looks ill now. That's better. Okay. So now we have Ian, Barbara, Sarah done. Just Susan left to do. Susan can go at the front because she's at the front. So again, she does have quite dark hair. So we'll do her hair first. Which hopefully should be quite straightforward. Anything, I think her hair is black, isn't it? So she is essentially the title of the episode 
and he was in it, so there was two of them just sitting around for about half of an episode. It's very 80s. I feel really bad for Susan. She should have had her reunited re reunion with Davison, and I think that would have been really nice. But it wasn't about the companions, obviously. hair thing again. There you go. So let's give Susan some skin tone. But yeah, like I like the Five Doctors a lot. There's a lot I love about it, but I also feel like a lot of it's a missed opportunity. But that's just because I'm a big fan of, you know, granddaughter Susan, and I feel like if she was going to be in a bloody episode, um, <laughs> then they should have been like, hey, we could also have. Peter Davison gave his granddaughter a hug and not to stand there awkwardly and be like, oh, it's my granddaughter I didn't return to. Oh. Oh, dear. You know? You know? <laughs> Makes me very sad. Should have happened. Yeah. Uncle bloody Uncle Terence. <laughs> but no, it's uh it's fine. I'll just live with it. <laughs> um I mean it makes me sad, sure, but I still think it's a great great story. Should have got David Whitaker to write it. He'd have had it, he'd have given it to us. He didn't made it hurt. <laughs> not that I know, I'm not even sure if David Whitaker was alive for the Five Doctors. My brain is telling me he's not alive now. I'm sure that's true, off the top of my head. It's been a long time since I've looked into anything like that. Yeah, died 1980. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I have ruined Five Doctors for you. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to... I'm going to do something a little bit cheeky now. So I'm going to remove a lot of what I've got here because I can then make it up. It'll make more sense when I actually come to colour it in, don't worry. Right. 
Right, so what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm just going to colour this in black and make it white and then lock it. Right, and now I look at all these colours. They've just got basically all the Jolie Whittaker colours, but they're pastelled. Right. Yes. There's definitely purples in there. Okay. So I'm going to go to liquefy. I'm going to start twirling. That's not what I wanted to do. Right. That's, that's kind of better. I've used this technique before for colouring in like quite detailed scarves. Doesn't quite do what I wanted it to do this time around though. Let's look, see if I can. Um, let's try again. No, it's definitely a pinch I need. I made a mistake with the hue as well. I wonder. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Just trying to make this work, you see. I'm just uh
see what this is like. question are you writing a new thing earlier you did a poll on what people's favorite genres were um well i'm i'm always writing and coming up with ideas all the time it's just a, i've got a lot of stuff in publication waiting to be published and i'm wondering if i should write some short stories and stuff self-published so it's kind of what i've been thinking about um on and off for a little while and i was just trying to gauge people's opinion to see if people were interested or not um it will probably not be doc 2 related it'll probably be something very different indeed but i think it's something that people who like doctor who would like so it's more of a wait and see sort of question uh, no. i suppose hopefully that answers your question I mean that would be pretty damn cool to be fair but uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath I imagine it's quite difficult to do right I think technically speaking once now that I've done this Right, okay. Now I seem to finish off a few finishing touches with Susan as an example. She should have she should have lipstick. Well she has lips. She has very nice lips. So we should Don't really if I'm doing that I should also do the same for touches I think and then we we are done 
And just in time as well, I've got some errands to run before D&D this afternoon. This is one of the. Well, Let's change the background. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to select duplicate. And then I'm going to. I'm just going to put everything in a nice group. Like so. Hmm. I'm pretty sure if my memory is correct. There's a lot of uh, like bricks behind them at one point. I could be completely wrong, but I thought it might be quite good to I mean, this might be an absolutely terrible idea. There you go. And 
then I'm just going to use a nice soft brush behind that wasn't my intention let's try that again Right, so I think I'm going to leave it like so. Cool. Um, because I think it's quite nice as it is. I think I'm just going to make a flattened version of this one. Oh, not that I can do that at the moment. So let's select duplicate. Flatten. Pump up the saturation on this one. Oh, no. Curves. Add some noise. Not too much noise though. There we go. I always do about four noise. And then just in case. Oh. Um. Add. There you go. What they could look like in black and white, but no. Um. like how that's come out. Just a couple of little things I've noticed shouldn't be there. Just little things. Artwork is never done. <laughs> Masterpiece physical release. Um, I mean, 
it was only a digital download, so unfortunately I don't have a CD version of The Master Thief. I would have loved to have had a CD version, but the short trips don't have CD versions. But maybe if it becomes a rarity or something weird like that, maybe um, it'd be really cool to have on a CD. But you never know. Petition for it, guys. <laughs> but yeah, to, I have just finished. I'm really pleased with how it's gone. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to go post this up online, have a bit of a chill out. And um, yeah, then I'll be doing D&D &D this evening and stuff. Um, I hope you're all okay. There's seven of you here. Thank you for coming and watching and seeing what I'm up to. Um, I'm just going to quickly actually, uh, before I disappear, I'm going to... sign it um so yeah it's all good really i really 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 hope you've enjoyed watching um cool i'm glad um just realized as well you can only see, you can see something on my screen when that's up that's fine um but yeah i hope you've all had a really good time and yeah th thank you for streaming yes uh, thank you for, for being here like having seven viewers is great on a Sunday morning uh, now afternoon so I'm really glad you're all here and chilled out and enjoyed I'll post, post up on my Twitter again if you enjoy being here please consider either supporting me via Patreon um, which has some really cool ta um, tiers now or um, supporting me here by donating or entering your Twitch um, subscription here so Whatever you can do to help me will be really fantastic considering at the moment where there's no conventions that I can sell work at um, and every penny counts. So thank you very much. Um, I hope to see you all again soon. I will do these on Wednesday evenings as well. So from 8pm on, on Wednesday, I should be around. So uh, do come and check it out. But in the meantime, I hope you have a fabulous like rest. I know some of you might not have the Christmases you planned, but do try and have as relaxed time as you can in this hard, hard time at the moment. And I will speak to you all very, very soon. So thank you so much and take it easy. Bye.